Hi my loves and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I don't know guys, should I put this like this way or should I leave it back? I feel like this is cute. Anyways, the sun is hitting. I just, I know you guys can see that as well. The sun is hitting very, very nicely. I feel like I'm molly gagging. Let's get to the point, let's get to the point. So in this video, I wanted to just explain to you guys what I've been doing with my skin that has turned it more from this to this slash this which i'm wearing makeup but like you guys can still kind of see like the texture of my skin but uh, i have struggled for a long long time with like acne scars hyperpigmentation a ton of skin issues acne all of it all of it i'd like to say i have my acne under wraps when i was younger i looked up so many videos on it i did aloe vera gel i use like um ambi cream which i think i really do like it i would recommend ambi cream for like spot treatment so it has been a journey and i've learned so much more about skin and i thought i would share with you guys the products I'm using right now and some tips that I would give to you guys as well. If you're a black girl or just any girl in general who struggles with acne scars, hyperpigmentation, acne in general, like this is the video I wanted when I was younger. So you're gonna get this video. And of course, like anything else that works for me later on, I'll definitely share that as well. So I thought we'd start off with the first thing I do, which is cleansing. I cleanse my skin with the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Cleanser. It's for sensitive skin. It's daily foaming cleanser. Try to avoid fragrances on your skin. Just some Something added that does not need to be added but this one has been something that I like swear by I don't swear but like if I sweared I would swear by you know like it's, it's, it's a really good one it's a really good skin product I tell you I tell you I tell you okay so next I'm gonna go into the ordinary product which is the glycolic 7% toning solution it is basically my toner that I use now y'all TikTok be telling you you need this toner you need that toner I'll be like I be buying the toners too, I be buying them. But I think you should really do your research before you buy a toner. Maybe see where their skin was at before you wanna buy what they're buying. Um, Only because a lot of people who like say and swear by certain products and you listen to them because they have beautiful glowing skin, just like moi, of course. Uh, I'm hiding a lot of stuff underneath this makeup, y'all. I, I definitely am. And the sun is sunning right now, it's helping me, it's helping me out, it's helping me out. <laughs> Anyways, I would definitely look into that because a lot of people who do promote these products, they might be getting paid to promote it. In general, their skin has probably been really good. So I would definitely just like see where their skin has been, how long, you know, they've been using the product for. I love this toner. I do. I really do. I'm not getting paid to say this. I love the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. I definitely like start with the problem areas first and then I go ahead and move to the rest of my face. I think I've been on this skincare regimen with all the products I'm using for about two or three weeks now nothing but good things to say okay so for my third step in my skincare routine i use the good molecules hyaluronic acid which was not something i used to always use i used to use the ordinary just because it was like cheap ordinary just has really great affordable products so i think it's definitely something to check out i couldn't find the hyaluronic acid when i was looking it was new year's everyone obviously bought it or like presents and gifts and stuff like that so i went ahead and asked the lady and she was like i don't know why people love the ordinary so much like good molecules is just as cheap and it's like just as good and i was like i love the ordinary but let me check out good molecules because y'all know i had their like discoloration serum for a hot second and me personally i don't think i saw too much like i don't think i saw much of anything like any changes with my skin tone with that but the hyaluronic acid they have is bomb and it was cheaper than the ordinary i love you the ordinary but i had to i had to get the good molecules i'm crying i feel like the sun is the sun is making me cry but I look too good, I look too good. Ugh. Okay, so the next thing I use is moisturizer and this one was a little bit of a shot in the dark. I got it for $50, 50 crazy i got it for five dollars instead of 15 to 20 dollars that it usually is it is the ulta hydrating gel moisturizer whether you have hyaluronic acid whether you put in the niacinamide whether you put in retinol all the other stuff like extra stuff people put into their skin you should definitely have a strong base moisturizer and i think this one is just really good in keeping your skin moisturized keeping it fresh keeping it having a nice plump look throughout the day i think i would get it again but i am someone who also isn't like too strict about what I'm using in terms of products. You never know if one product can be keeping you from the next best product. But if it's not, I try not to be too greedy. I try not to be too greedy because when you're too greedy, that's when things get taken away from you. That's when you get, when you get pop, pop, karma comes. Okay, so with my next step, I go in with a niacinamide from The Ordinary. It is so nice in terms of my texture of my skin. Niacinamide is good with evening out skin tone, with helping with texture, just all of the above. And I use that next in the skincare after hyaluronic acid, after... Ooh, okay, I just realized I did that out of order. <laughs> I do hyaluronic acid and then I use niacinamide and then I use my moisturizer. I don't know why it was out of order in my notes. 
but let's keep talking good things about the niacinamide. I promise you, it, it'll just, it'll just smooth, smooth, smooth smooth i promise you okay now if i was doing my skincare during the night time i would end and top it all off with retinol and retinol is really good in cell turnover also if you ever want to do a chemical peel which is something that i did a lot i have so many videos about that on my tiktok you should definitely check that out about just my journey with chemical peels i love it if i had more money i would do one like every month like i, I just would but it was a big thing to be on retinol and to have that regimen going because if you always use retinol you could just go more into the higher intensity chemical peels however without the use of retinol you kind of have to start with like the lower chemical peels that feed you that retinol every single time that you do it i'm not a dermatologist i don't know a lot about this but i did get a little bit of some lessons from the medical spa that was helping me with my chemical peel they were so great in just educating me about like how to take care of my skin and like what retinol really was for however if i was finishing off this skincare regimen during the daytime i finished with sunscreen the newest one that i've tried is black girl sunscreen i did a review on black girl sunscreen when i first First bought it and it was just very liquidy it gets messy very quickly just like from the bottle like it is a very very liquidy sunscreen it's supposed to be for black girls help with the white cast I really do think it does help I use a 50% in black girl sunscreen and I just have not been able to find another 50% so I went back to an older bottle that I had with Neutrogena which was the one I always used it was 30 SPF it's breakout free so it's specifically for acne prone skin I'm not even joking I love that sunscreen you rub it in well and it just protects your skin throughout out the day from like the harmful sun rays. I know so many sunscreens say that you should be reapplying it throughout the day. Every two or three hours, four hours maybe that you're like outside in the sun. Even if the sun is not out, even if you're staying in your home all day, you're getting some rays of something, you know? So put it on, put it on your skin will love you. It helps your dark spots and hyperpigmentation not get darker. So you're doing all this stuff for your skin, but if you go out in the sun for hours, you don't protect your skin from all the harmful UV rays, your dark spots get so much darker in the sun. I wear makeup all day, so I don't really reapply it, but I'm very careful of like my face being in the sun, I guess, except except now. But if you don't wear a lot of makeup or if you don't wear makeup at all, and you have some dark spots, you're just trying to fade put on the sunscreen reapply it it's just better for protecting your skin and y'all that is all i use for my skin i have a lot of scars on my cheeks i have a lot of scars on my everywhere and in the sunlight they're kind of visible like i'm trying not to do like full coverage makeup anymore just like to kind of feel better about like the scars and like the discoloration just the impurities that are on my skin it's normal to have this stuff so it just depends on what you want like how comfortable you feel in your own skin like what you want to try what you want to buy what you want to put on your face but i feel like really comfortable wearing makeup which is why i wear it like almost every day it's also really fun so yeah, I have it on my vision board that I want clear skin by the end of 2024, throughout 2024. Summer, I want to be putting on every, like, you know, it's just, it's just going to be the vibe. It's going to be the vibe. Slay, 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 slay. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can comment down below. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, like your own skincare tips. Like, I would love to hear them. I'm not someone who, like, well, you see how it's really annoying for some people whenever people comment like skincare tips under videos when they have like really bad acne, really bad discoloration. As of now, I don't really care. I would love like some tips if you guys have them. Oh, at the end of the day, I have the choice if I want to try it or not, which is also for you guys. I love tips and I love anything you guys would like to let me know. Again, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a professional. I don't know every single thing about every single one of these products. These are just things that have worked for me so far. I do not have the clearest skin. It is just getting better. It's definitely been a long, long way and a long, long journey. All the products I put in the video, but if you guys need any more like names, prices, anything like that, just let me know and I got you. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.